All right, let's see. Can you guys see me and hear me? And is everything okay in portrait? I'm out in the garage right now, but that's not going to last long. I'll explain this once we get some people in. What I'm doing out here, but first I want to know that I'm being seen and heard. Let's see. There we go. Turn the camera 90 degrees, please. I may have to. I didn't want to do that, but I may have to do that. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to try to stream in portrait mode. But... It's going to be a problem. I can do this. Is that better? Hi. Yes, you are. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. I like it at 90 degrees. Then again, I'm a little off. All right. Now you're good. So this is better. I want to stream from my phone. So let me tell you what I'm trying to do here. I've got a little project to do in the shop. And... It's not quite video worthy, but I figured I could do it on a live. I invited my neighbor, who's a real fun kind of uh, personality. I thought he'd be good on, on a live with me. And he's real interested in what I'm, what I'm doing, always asking about it, and he's a bit of a woodworker too. Um, but he's late, so I'm waiting here for him. Uh, so the, the idea is I do the build, he kind of reads, sees and reads comments. He asks me some questions. There's a little bit more dialogue. It's much easier than me just talking to Cat and uh, trying to keep up with questions and everything. But this interface on the phone is really wonky. Oh, Stephanie's on there. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie's my virtual assistant. Uh, let's see. Live chat. I just want the chat to stay on. It kind of disappears after a while. All right, so right now we are in my garage. The only real shop thing here is the air compressor. It's where it lives. Waiting to ambush my neighbor who's late for the live stream. And his name is Josh and he should be walking on this sidewalk any minute now and then we can bring him in and give him a hard time for being late. Then we'll go build something. I don't know, seemed like a fun idea. The interface on the phone is really weird though. Hopefully this works okay. Are you guys watching from just phones or is it phones and laptops? I'm guessing, or, or phones and PCs. I'm hoping it's both. Hell for being late. That's right. Phone. So we got two phones. Anyone on a computer? Phone, phone, crap picture, crap picture desktop. Crap picture meaning the stream's not working too well. PC. 50 inch TV. No pressure. Great. So the Wi Fi signal is probably at its worst right now. Um, iPads, okay, so it runs the gamut, good. This is the first time I've done a stream from the phone. PC picture, yeah, I'm sorry. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully, so, so once I get inside, I'm gonna flip the camera to not the selfie camera, which I'm doing right here, uh, and I'll also be closer to the Wi-Fi. So bear with me once I'm out of the garage and Josh, my neighbor, gets here and we give him a hard time for being late to the stream, then I'll get inside where the Wi-Fi is better and everything should be good. What happened yesterday? I don't know, what happened yesterday? I'm not aware anything happened yesterday. What happened?
What happened for you yesterday? Let's see. Usually airplanes aren't that loud. Can you guys hear that? I will be building something. Brightness in the background is messing with the quality also. That's a temporary thing. I know it's like, this is, this is uh, brightness adjusted for the sidewalk. This is me sticking my, my head in and that's weird. I know, I know it's not great at this very second. It's all Josh's fault, we we'll blame it on him. Uh, I think the camera is trying to focus between your face and outside light. I know, I know, I know it's not great. I'm doing my best. I wanted to start it at the time that I had it scheduled. So here I am. Any second now. I'm just going to stay out of it. We're just going to, I'm not going to stick my head in and let it focus. Hey, Andrew, loving my miter fold data set. Awesome. That's great. Making some boxes, drawers. What are you doing with it? Freaking Josh, I know. Try to get a neighbor to join a live stream. Or something. Hello from Chicago. You're good. No worries. Thank you. You are sideways. I'm sideways? Really? This phone interface, I said I wasn't gonna stick my head in. The phone uh, interface um, really seemed to be set up for the vertical, vertical video. Um, so if I'm sideways, I don't know. Are you on a laptop or a computer? Haha, <laughs> we do get something special for viewing your driveway. I don't know, what do you want? What would you like for viewing my driveway? What can I do for you? You're in portrait mode. I know, I, I, since I'm from, I'm on the phone, it um, seemed like portrait mode was the best option. What do you think? Take a vote. Who wants me to switch over to landscape and who wants me to stick with portrait? Looks good. Daryl says it looks good. Josh, okay, ten, like 10 minutes ago, Josh said he'd be in, be over in five minutes and he just said he's gonna be over in five minutes again Josh all right we'll see how many people stick around staring at my driveway while we wait for Josh 28 of you are still here up oh, 29 we'll get there I promise I'll go build something myself it'll be more fun with Josh reading comments and asking his own questions and having some dialogue. It's, a, it's hard to just talk to a camera. You feel kind of silly. Hi, Alice in Southwest Burbs area. Southwest Burbs, is, are we, is this still Chicago? Hang on, let me look at the comment. History, I used to live in a suburb of Chicago. Oh no, that was Alice, not uh, Zephyr, let's see. Oh, Alice, that was a reply to Alice, got it. I used to live in Libertyville, that's a northern suburb. It's kind of right in between Chicago and Milwaukee, uh, distance-wise, but still definitely a suburb of Chicago. Chicago Metro is huge. I was like Libertyville, I went to high school in Mundelein, uh, I worked in Lake Forest, yeah, that whole northern suburb area and now I'm doing a live stream with the camera pointed at my driveway waiting to give my neighbor a hard time hey man good work from Italy thank you thank you Marco got a couple of subscribers in Italy very much appreciate I went to visit Jocko in Italy um, let's see it was I guess it was just a couple months before COVID hit and you couldn't go anywhere it was like my last big trip before the lockdown that was fun his shop is unreal. You can't even call it a shop. It's, I don't know what you'd call it. It's a giant industrial warehouse. West Coast, 10 minutes from a rainforest. Beautiful. Robert, very beautiful. Garage life is real. I'm not going to mess with the camera because I know the second I mess with the camera, Josh will show up. I hear Josh's, so Josh's son, Charlie, makes pallets.
for Josh's business. If you hear a nail gun, that's Charlie using the nail gun to make pallets. Fun fact about my neighborhood. Let's see. So what I'm, what I'm gonna be building today is the fence. Uh, I need to attach the fence for the wrap. Short yesterday on the dust collection, larger router table, but I still need to set up the fence. And it wasn't quite full video worthy, um, but I thought it'd be a fun thing to do on a live with, uh, with Josh. I didn't know that would result in me just doing a live, looking at a sidewalk, waiting for Josh. Such is life. Such is life. Got chalk. Do I have chalk for the driveway? Maybe. Hold on. Should I go get chalk? Take a vote. See some driveway art. All right. I think I can do that. Why not? Chalk. Okay, what should I say on my driveway? Should I write, should I draw a big arrow and say Josh is an unreliable late neighbor? I think so. Okay, so Josh has now been publicly called out. So I don't know how much trouble he's in when he comes over, if he comes over. Mm, we're not likely to get our money back, so definitely appreciate some more. No, no, uh, I'm sorry. I can't, um, can't refund your money uh, for the live show. All I can do is passively aggressively call out my neighbor for your amusement that's all i got oh i hear him i'm just gonna i'm just gonna sit here and look really angry oh he's right here you're late i know <laughs> so josh i told you this was gonna be live yeah. I had to start it, so I've just been giving you a hard time for being late this whole time. Hi. So I have to apologize to the people. So sorry for being <laughs> late. No, I'm just kidding. You. All right. I'm gonna flip it. This is gonna be the camera. You can read me the interesting comments, and uh, yeah, let's go build something. Read them out. All right, you got it. <laughs> read them out loud to you, huh? Yeah, and if you're, you know. The point is like dialogue and not just me building something. So we'll go, th we'll go through the whole deal. Still, do you still have a hard stop at 420? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do. That's why I can do it later. You're killing me. I know. No. I know. I, I, I know. Actually, I know. this is, so this is my channel. Uh, so you're doing me a favor. So no I'm way. Just, you're not. I'm screwing you up because you can't rely on me. Okay. All right. So let me just give you the control. So if you want to see, like the comments kind of disappear, but if you want to see them, you tap the comments, live chat, and then you can see the history and you can go back through and look um, for anything that looks interesting. Uh, and let's see if anyone has an IN, an IN in front of their name that looks like this. That means they're a paid member of the channel, so they get prior. Make sure you get those questions. Those people pay the money to be a member of the channel, and they haven't really gotten too much yet, although there's more coming. Um, but at, least, at the very least, I should get to their questions. Okay. Where is the IN going to be at? It'll be like right Like in front an of icon? Their name. It'll be like right in front of their names. So see their names. Let's see. 
like Robert Martin, for example, it'll it would be say right I in am. front of the eye of his of Robert. Okay. For example. Good. Okay. All right. So I have to just keep hitting it to. Keep... I think you comments like pop up. I can't. I haven't ever gone live on the phone yet. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna read comments out to you. Yeah. I don't know. Is there anything I should be answering? Oh, and if you want to reposition the camera. To you? Yeah, to, to any thing I'm working on, you grab this and then it can move around. Okay. So that's how you get it set up. And where are you going to be? So the first things I'm going to do is uh, table saw cuts. So you can go, I'll, I'll get set up over there. I'll let you read the comments. And... And you can also introduce yourself. I haven't really done much of an introduction. So When's it live? What's that? When's watching our... There's 37 people watching. Waiting for you to go, huh? And then these are what they're, what they're saying. <laughs> yes, it was live when you walked up. All right. <laughs> okay, so... This is the router table that I'm putting the fence on. And it's, let's see, back in a second. It's got, um, I got all this stuff from MLCS a long time ago, but it's kind of a mismatch. Um, and the tracks on this fence, don't, they don't quite line up with the table. So I've got to put a couple pieces of wood on the side and fiddle with a few things just to get it right. But at the end, I should have dust collection not just underneath, but on this fence, and the fence should be secured with tracks. Andy, have you ever considered a three-phase water-cooled spindle for a router table? So three-phase is something that I would like to have. Um, but that's, that's like a pretty big step up in electrical infrastructure. That I, I, I've never had to do anything that a, that a single phase can accomplish. So it's probably not going to happen anytime real soon. Like even the CNC router that I'm going to get is not going to be uh, three phase. So probably, probably not seriously, but it would be nice. The idea uh, is that they don't succumb to the dusty air. It went away. Oh, like just a totally enclosed fan cooled motor. The idea is that they don't succumb to the dusty air problems the air cooled router do. Uh, uh, is there like an off-the-shelf solution, or would I be cobbling something together myself? I think I, there is not an off-the-shelf solution. If there was, I'd consider it. Um, but I haven't looked into it seriously, and I kind of already had this one, so. All right, here we go. So 
with that one. So Josh, you were, when did you do that woodworking project that you showed me? Was that from high school? That was high school, 1991. And they taught you out of being a woodworker because there was no There's future in it? No future in it. Not too late. <laughs> So that Scott had uh, responded to your answer to his question, and he says, uh, I don't know why this keeps going away. Yeah, they're sometimes sold with a VFD and a water pump. With a VFD and a water pump. Uh, interesting. Okay, I haven't seen that. Who sells them? I don't think I'd seen, like it's set up, and it's set up to be like in a router table. I'd seen, I've seen those like water-cooled uh, spindles for CNC machines, and I guess you could fabricate something from those and put it on a table, but nothing made for a table that I'm aware of. It's a good idea. <laughs> His response is Amazon. Amazon. Okay, I'll take a look. Drop a link. Alrighty. So I have all of these. Um, I've made a lot of twin turbo vices at this point. Now I always end up with cutouts. So that was what this came from. Alright, so the way this guy works is so this is going to attach here. I want to be able to get the fence all the way to the back. So it sticks out far. Alright, so we got to stick out. Rockler also has something like that. Do they really? I've never seen that. I mean, I know they have a, a water pool spindle for CNC, but not like one that Brady made and popped into a rabbit tree. I'll have a look at that. So it's like a cut piece of the same length as the mouse. I'm going to look a lot less confident when I don't speed the video up. Speeding video is up. I don't know anyone smarter than you, Andy. You've never been down here and seen the extra pump of your project either, Josh. You've seen the same videos they have. <laughs> I do know he's down here working at 3 a.m.
guys? Anything I need to answer? Nope. How are we doing? Am I going to get this done in time? Why not? I don't do not know. <laughs> so what are you building, Andy? I didn't, I didn't get what, what we're accomplishing here. Okay, so the end goal is that this fence... So right now, if I want to use this fence, I have to... I wanted to position it here and bring the router up. Cut a slot. That's that's what this fence is used for. I have to clamp it with like C clamps. Right, right, right. So I want the way the way it's supposed to work is that these pieces of mounting hardware go into these tracks. Right. The way it's supposed to work. Um, but there's nothing to attach these. I either lost some hardware or what I got, you know, what I bought was not compatible or it's been sitting in a pile for like two years. So I've kind of lost my memory uh, of exactly how I got here, but it's pretty clear what I need to do to make it work. So that's, that's the goal. Functional. Makes sense. Can you buy your merch online? Ah, the merch saga. So, this company that made this, we were supposed to like just kind of produce the shirts for everyone who, who wanted them, and I had the link on my website for a while, but people weren't happy. Like it wasn't actually happening, and was, people were frustrated with it, and uh, I eventually. Just shutting it off, so there's nowhere to buy the my merch anymore. Just kind of, kind of a bummer. It was, it, it, I, I never really promoted it all that much, and didn't make all that big a deal about it. I don't know. At some point, I should, I should bring it back. But as of right now, there's nowhere to buy. It. Sorry. Alright. So... Scott's making dinner while watching you. What you making, Scott? All right, so we're gonna have to move the camera over to the drill out those holes. Want me to come over there? Find a local mom and pop place that can do the t-shirts for you from Zavar.
nice if it was just fully integrated with the website. Purchases just went directly to them and they handled it all. Like that's what it was the Teespring, but it was a similar kind of service. It was supposed to do that, where you just put the link on your website and they take care of everything and send your royalty. Like I don't have a lot more time. To, like if I went to a mom and pop shop, and they, you know, they probably want me to buy like a hundred of them, and I'd have to stock size them, and I'd have to ship them. And that's I, I too strapped for time to be doing all that. So I really need an option that would be more. Well, if you, if you came down here at 2 a.m. instead of 3 a.m., you could get some more time. I know. I have to do that. You see me okay? You can move the tripod. Good news. Have you ever seen the industrial woodworking equipment you can get on Alabia? Alibaba? Alibaba. I, ha I have. I have never rolled the dice on any of it. Um, shipping gets to be a real challenge with that kind of stuff. And then if you have some kind of a problem with it, you better hope you know how to service it because you're not getting any help. Um, so I've stayed away from that option, but know what you're doing, I'm sure you can probably get some, some of the prices just look ridiculous. That's before shipping and taxes and all that stuff. So, any channel members yet? Anybody with the IN? Not that I can see. assistant who was on earlier. I don't know if Stephanie's still on, but if you are, hello. Um, just to kind of see the process that I used to get organized for my day and prioritize things. Stephanie's waving back at you. Yeah. Stephanie, hello. Stephanie's been a big help. I think she's she's helped me out with it. Really made it possible to step up my content game recently. So, so thank you for that. All right. So now I need fat. I can't um, attach these to the table. I think that'd be easier. But this thing is just ridiculously hard to screw. So I'm going to have to go into the metal. Or, I guess I could... 
guess I could drill a countersink down through this way. Drilling a through hole in so bad, trying to screw it into it is ridiculous. Martin is saying I was looking at a 20 inch four post thickness as they aren't available in Scotland due to safety laws. They are 20 inch thickness available, but they are extremely overpriced. 20 inch four post thickness. Four post thickness. thickness planer? That's gotta be what it means. 20, uh, 20 inch thickness planer. So this, this job, that's a 15 inch planer. I'm, I'm almost sure what Martin's talking about is He's in Europe, yeah, usually Europe has some pointing rules and it's hard to get things in the States. I can see how that would make a lot more sense. Um, I actually thought I thought it might make an interesting like video series of I'm buying this expensive thing from Alibaba, let's just see how it goes. That occurred to me as something that might be a thickness planer. He meant thickness planer, right? Joiner. So far, thickness planer or joiner? We, I wish this chat would stay up. It doesn't yeah, stay up. Annoying. I don't know why YouTube can't get a better interface with the live. I've never gotten live on the phone before. But it's really annoying. Sorry, Josh. Question mark. Martin is speaking of thickness planer. Andy, is your son ever on these videos? Do they know who your son is? Yeah, they know. Yeah, he's um, he's not in every video, but he's been in several videos. A few that have been fairly popular. He's a lot of fun. He's a real ham. Yeah, it did. It was awesome.
How are we doing on time? Savar says Lincoln's a good, great shop assistant. He is an excellent shop assistant. That is for sure. Got some new juice. Are you losing money? What are your thoughts on using a CNC water jet for cutting four eight three quarter inch sheets of plywood? The idea is intricate precision cuts. I'm not worried about the water. It is easily dealt with. Water jet cutting plywood. plywood? Sheets of plywood. I don't know. I've never seen it done. Um... I guess I don't know why that wouldn't work, uh, but I don't have any experience with it. I've never tried a water jet cut. I've had some metal parts water jet cut. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Cheaper than cutting three quarter inch plywood with a laser. Three quarter inch plywood with a laser. Yeah. Is it is it cheaper? Like are you, do you you found a service to water jet cutting? I'm assuming. The only so I've gotten quotes from my uh, big blue saw. Is that the kind of water jet cutter for hire? Their prices seemed crazy high to me. Right? The one time I did price it out, but there's probably there's probably better shops that you can go to. And for plywood, so so it's more economical than just CNC. It's such a standard way to cut plywood. And the machines aren't anywhere near as expensive. Water jet cutters are expensive machines, so just the I would have thought it would be more expensive than CNC, but I could be wrong. Zafar thinks you need to do collaboration with Lincoln and Jay Bates and his daughter with Matt Cremona. Lots well, of different geographies there. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> so we got uh, Denver, Minnesota, and Jay Bates in Michigan, right? Michigan. His daughter is adorable. I don't think I've seen him since uh, they adopted her. Robert saying the idea was inspired by watching a do-it-yourself water jet build. The machine cost becomes approachable if he builds it. Wait, if you build your own water jet? That sounds non-trivial. But people do non-trivial things.
Jay's in Mississippi. What's that? Jay's in Mississippi. Jay was born and originally from Michigan, explaining the Detroit Red Wing obsession. You got it. All makes sense. One down. Get those other two fellows on board. We'll figure it out. Provided they come to Denver, that would be much easier. I guess I can bring myself to travel. All right. So now we got to do the same thing on the other side. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven likes. <laughs> High school prom king right there. <laughs> Popular. Ben on the Applied Science channel posted a couple of videos. Robert will post the link after the stream so people don't leave to see it. Zafar, go to Minnesota in the spring, early summer. He's got the land to support a big enough sleepover. Or hit up April in Texas. April, I've already got the flip table collaboration going with her. They didn't hear your question. What was your question? Oh, the motorized router then. So the rattle lift that raises the motor with the foot pedal. It's going down because I'm stepping on the foot pedal. Probably can't see that. Pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. You can do a plunge, so you can hold the workpiece with two hands against the fence and then plunge up and kind of slide. Four twenty, but I'm gonna forego the shower <laughs> and stick around till four thirty. <laughs>
install our table events. Can you get Josh on time for his date with his wife? Oops, I'm going to do that. Let me rush. Don't rush. Safar is having Wi-Fi connection. He can't see it. Show it again. I'm not sure what he's referring to seeing it again. My connection bad? His bad is. People. His is bad? Oh, the thing that you picked up, was it a starter switch or a foot pedal? Not a starter switch, that's a foot pedal. So that controls the height of the router. The little motor. It's right uh, down there on the floor. Motor, not a stepper motor, but um, yeah, it's kind of, the whole apparatus is inside this box, so it's hard to see. But it, uh, if you zoom in on the bed here, let's get a zoom Ooh. in on the bed. There you go. Thank you. After this, are you done for the day and start again tomorrow at 3? Yeah. I try to start each day off with shop time first, just because it's, it's really easy to get caught up in computer work and all kinds of other stuff. That's the reason why I try to get down here at 3 before anything else, just to start the day off with shop time. Because it's the most important thing that I do.
can they hear when you're doing this kind of noise upstairs? There's a pretty uh, soundproof. That's again why tuning is a good reliable time because they're asleep. Yeah. Um, So it's, it's good for that reason too. In the middle of the day, it can be a bit of a problem because upstairs the stuff's loud. Especially the dust collector, really curious in the house. The, uh, see the ductwork, the paste on the ductwork? Yep. That helps a lot. The ductwork is the biggest offender for carrying sound through the house. Um, so that's made a big difference. I've got a lot of fewer complaints since that was going in. But, um, Sweet. Voila. There we go. Thanks for manning the camera. Appreciate you it. You bet. Uh, yeah. I think that's all, folks. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Hang loose. <laughs> Have a good evening, everybody. Thanks again, Josh. Thank you.